Mark at Fingernail Specialties. Hey, uh, this is uh, Brendan Walsh and Nick Thune. Uh huh. We're from. Uh, either way, do you know who Jason Siegel is? Um, I think he is the. Um, uh, does he come in the shop? No. No. He wouldn't know. Him. He might have. He may have. But, but this is fingernail. This is uh, fingernail specialties. Hang on one second. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Probably the red paint. Yeah. Sorry. You guys, um, we're kind of in a rush right now. A lot of people no, are coming hey, in. Mark, it. you got it. Quick question. So we're we're um, committing to saving all of our fingernail clippings for a year. We put out a, a challenge to our listeners to save all their yeah. fingernail clippings for a year. That's and great. Is there... Have you ever done that? Do you, I mean, what do you know about as far as fingernails, clipping storage, all that kind of stuff? What's the best... Um, um, we use salt shakers. You can, you you can actually, you know, if if you guys don't mind, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what show this is. You said you have listeners. Oh, uh, just the kids in the neighborhood listen. They they're listening. Well, um, we produce a specialty line. It's called Mark's Fingernail Shakers, and uh, we we actually create jars. We like vessels where you can store your fingernail clipping. It's actually a really smart idea to do this because in a lot of cultures, fingernails, hair, strands of anything from the body can be used by witches. Just basically bad luck to to not to, to either not store your fingernails in a safe place or to destroy them by burning them. So, so now as you far as it. as far as cleaning the clippings, um, is that like a do is it good to clean them once a month and what's the is it is a seltzer water good like a Topo Chico or Seltzer it's what it, yeah, it's the classic one. Seltzer water, vinegar and uh, lemon juice is the best way to store it. And that won't compromise the integrity of the fingernail over time. Strengthens it. Oh, it does. Wow. Strength. So to just to clarify what if somebody steals your fingernail clippings? Hold on can... one second. The clippers are in aisle A. Sorry about that. That's fine. What, what else do you have in aisle A over there? Excuse me? What else is in aisle, aisle, a? aisle A? Yeah. Yeah, cuticle wax, fingernail paint, fingernail oil, fingernail dripping, and uh, band aids. How many aisles do you guys have at that place? Just one aisle. Just aisle A? Well, why label it then? Well, we could spin that way since I got here, man. I don't know. It's not my shop. I'm just a clerk. If I remove the A sign, I'm probably going to catch a lot of heat. Yeah, that's and true. Be- Is your boss there? Well, I have a question, just a quick question. If somebody steals your fingernails... They can use that against, like, they can put spells on you or whatever? Well, you know, it's a, 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 I'm, it's a, in a lot of different world religions, uh, certain schools of magic believe that collect some hair, fingernail clippings, even an article of clothing can be used to work some pretty disastrous magic on someone that you uh, feel negative feelings for. Uh, conversely, it could also be used for healing. Oh, that's great. Well, I guess, um, and you, you sell specific, like containers specifically designed for fingernail storage? Yes, we have two different types of containers. Containers of the light and containers of the dark. The containers of the light are usually if you want to hold your clippings for healing or for protection. If you're keeping them for yourself, yeah, that's the container you want. 2531. Um, we, you can get 2,531 average size nails in one of those containers. If wow. you get the containers of the dark, yes. And the can, dark containers are for curses, essentially. So we get a lot of witches coming in. It, it, people have been hurt in a love affair and romance, and they want these containers of the dark, which are etched with various sigils of demons from the uh, Lesser Book of Solomon. Oh, and wow. Interesting. They use, you're and you're just a clerk there. Yeah, just a clerk. Wow. And here's one other question: how how often is it safe to clip your nails? Oh, I'd say clip them every day. I clip mine twice a day. Really? I, I just use very I, yeah, which is why we sell very small clippers. It's 
you're using large clippers, you're going to snip off the entire nail, but yeah. you're going to rob yourself of the ple pleasure of that sweet feeling of release when the nail is clipped. So, yeah, if you get those small ones that we sell, you can do it twice a day, maybe more, depending on where you're at with your fingernail growth. Well, Brendan was saying that he actually will use a toenail clipper for his fingernails, and I think yeah. that's Ooh. D disgusting. Ooh, yeah, that's a, that's a, a no classic mistake a lot of people make. Uh, definitely don't do that. Use fingernail clippers for your nails and toenail clippers for your toenails. Okay. For sure. Well, thanks, Mark. Yeah, Mark, I appreciate it. We yes. appreciate the call. You uh, eat and that. real quick, before you go, um, what are, top 10, if you had to rate uh, fingernails, Top ten nails. Say that again, please. If you had to rate top your ten. yeah, what are you in the, the top? If you had to make a top ten list, in order of your favorite nails. You mean the, the types of finger nails? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's start at the top ten. The the tenth one. A lot of people love crescent jags, which is the sort of crescent shape with a little jagged edge. This comes from picking. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, type type nine is a what we call a shepherd's moon. This is usually if you get that perfect slide when you pull it off. Again, you're not using clippers at this point, so you're still getting a sort of non That's a handful. Clip. Yeah, top eight is a widow's peak. That's a, um, when you're anxious or whatever and you tear off your nail and it hurts. But the reason we even put this in the top ten is because you learn a lot from a improperly trimmed nail. Top seven, um, American Highway. This is now we're in the nail section. This is nice. Usually the ladies do this one with a quick clip. Top six, French beret. Again, we're back in clipping territory. Now you're getting a more of a professional clip from a manicurist or from, you're probably in a shop. Maybe you have taken some lessons. Uh, top five, chakric bloom. These are the spiritual clippings from usually saints, holy people. You know, they actually... Uh, there's someone who collects the Pope's fingernail clippings. Oh. Um, yeah, he's uh, he's called the um, Clip King at the Vatican, or the Cotare Uman. Okay. That's a very high... Yeah. And uh, number four, that's the uh, Time Boomerang. This is uh, when the baby... This is also known as baby's first clip. So when your child finally gets to the point where you're clipping their nails... We call it a time boomerang because um, it represents the beginning of an inevitable slide at the death. We're all being dissolved by the forces of time and nature. Hmm. Uh, That's good for Brendan, three, three, we call it the pyramid of the um, pharaoh. And this is usually clippings that come from people, high priests, working in uh, various temples, the order of the uh, Lothar Templarians we would categorize their clippings as these are very powerful clippings. You can actually use these clippings, grind them up, put them in a pill, and uh, blast off, man. You're going to trip out. Wow. And nice. then uh, number two is the marathon clip. And this is an athletic clip. Usually it has a lot of probiotics because when an athlete touches their groin area, okay. the probiotics get in there. And then you take that. If you're somebody who eats a lot of junk food, you're going to want to eat some of that. Okay. And of course, uh, number one clip, this is known as the universal slice. And this is the clippings that come uh, whenever you achieve enlightenment in this incarnation, you, the first thing you do is clip your nails and the nail clippings from a being that just achieved a uh, unit of consciousness can be used as a fantastic cream for calluses. That's fantastic. So the top 10. Thanks, Mark. You're Mark, really helpful. Yeah, yep. I can't believe you're just no a clerk, guys. man. Thanks for the call, um, and best to the neighborhood kids. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. See ya.